The continuing topics are uninformed search strategies, avoiding repeated states, and searching with partial information. In this section, we'll be focusing more on uninformed search strategies. Uninformed search strategies. This is also called blind search. Uninformed search strategies generate successors and distinguish a goal state from a non-goal state. This kind of strategies consist of breadth first search, uniform cost search, depth per first search, depth limited search, iterative deepening depth first search, and bidirectional search. First, we are to tackle breadth first search. Breadth first search, or commonly known as PFS, is an algorithm for traversing or searching tree. It starts at the root and explores the neighbor nodes first before moving to the next level neighbors. It uses first in first out queue. So, to start with PFS, we start at level 0, from left to right, visiting all nodes on that level. Then after that, we go to level 1, again from left to right, visiting all the nodes within that level. This will go on and on until you reach the lowest level of the tree and have visited every node in that level. Given this tree, we start at level 0. Starting with node A, we put B and C in the queue. Moving on to level 1, our current node would be B. Adding D and E to the queue and having the node A explored. Continuing through level 1, our current node now is C and adding F to the queue. Going down now to level 2, starting at the leftmost node which is D while putting G to the queue. Continuing to the right, our current node now is E. We won't be adding any node to the queue since node E has no children. Now visiting F, we put H, I, and J to the queue since they are all child nodes of F. Now we're on level 3. Starting with node G and putting K and L to the queue. Now we visit H. Again, no nodes added to the queue since it has no children. And so with the node I. Continuing to node J, we now add M to the queue. For the last level of this tree, we now visit K, and then L, and then lastly, we finally go to M. Now here is an illustration on how everything happened with that tree. Next is Step First Search. Step First Search is an algorithm for traversing or searching tree. One starts at the root and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. This uses the algorithm backtracking. This is present when it has reached the farthest successor to the left. It backtracks the next node one level higher for the other successors if there are any. Starting at node A, we have two nodes connected to it, node B and node C. But as the algorithm of this strategy implies, we should first take the left node which is node B. Going down to node B, connected to it are nodes D and E. Again, choosing the leftmost child being D, we now make it our own current state. Since it only has one child, we do not have any option but to go to node G. Having node G, we have two options, K and L. Choosing the leftmost, K leaving L behind. But since K has no child nodes, we backtrack to G to check if it has any more child nodes that we haven't been visited. Finding L unvisited, we have to go to node L and then again, since it has no more child, we have to backtrack again to node G. Since all of its children were already visited, we now backtrack to node D. D has only one child and it's already visited, so we backtrack to B. Now, B has one child node left unvisited, so we go to node E, then again node E has no child nodes, we backtrack to node B again. All of node B's children are visited, so we now backtrack to node A. 
Node A has node C left unvisited, so we go for node C. Having no other option, we now go to its child, node F. Node F has three child nodes. Starting from the leftmost child, we visit node H, then backtrack to F and then going to node I. Again, we backtrack to F since there were no child nodes, and we visit node J. Node J has only one child node, so we go visit node M. After visiting M, since there were no more child nodes there, we backtrack to J, then to F, then to node C, until we come back to the root node and verify that there are no more nodes left unvisited. For depth limited search, this is similar to depth first search. The only difference is that in depth limited search, you are given a depth limit which prohibits your process to go further beyond that. Nodes at the given limit are treated as if they had no successors. Bidirectional search. Bidirectional search, as the name implies, searches in two directions at the same time, one forward from the initial state and the other backward from the goal. The search stops when the searches from both directions meet in the middle. Bidirectional search is a brute force search algorithm that requires an explicit goal state instead of simply a test for a goal condition. Once the search is over, the path from the initial state is then concatenated with the inverse of the path from the goal state to form the complete solution path. Bidirectional search is advantageous in its speed and it requires less memory. Next to discuss is the uniform cost search. Uniform cost search is a three search algorithm related to breadth first search whereas PFS determines a path that has the least number of edges, uniform cost search determines a path to the goal state that has the lowest weight. Uniform cost search is or is similar to Dijkstra algorithm. It is known for being the cheapest search strategy, for it searches the lowest cost path from a start state to the goal state. Iterative Deepening Depth First Search Iterative Deepening Depth First Search or IDDFS is equivalent to Breadth First Search but uses much less memory. On each iteration, it visits the nodes in the search tree in the same order as Depth First Search, but the cumulative order in which nodes are first visited is effectively Breadth First. IDDFS combines DFS space efficiency and BFS completeness. As you can see in the illustration, it checks level per level of trials because it's finding for the best limit at which the goal can be met. Avoiding repeated states. For searching algorithms, strategies may visit a state that has already been visited, making it a waste of time. So here are some guides to prevent that from happening. In breadth first search, if the repeated state is in the structure of closed or open nodes, the actual path has equal or greater depth than the repeated state and can be forgotten. Open nodes are nodes that are generated but hasn't been explored and explored but not yet expanded. While closed nodes are nodes that are explored and expanded already. In depth first search, if the repeated state is in the structure of closed nodes, explored and expanded, the actual path is kept if its depth is less than the repeated state. But if the repeated state is in the structure of open nodes, the actual path has always greater depth than the repeated state and can be forgotten. Now, onto the last topic. Searching with partial information. If the environment is not fully observable, or if the information needed is not enough given, problems with searching may occur. One of which is sensorless problem. In sensorless problem, if an agent has no sensors, then it cannot know its current state. 
and hence would have to make repeated action paths to ensure that the goal state is reached. Now, this might take time as the agent doesn't know where it is located. It has to do repetitive ways just to find the goal. Another problem is the contingency problem. In here, an agent's action is the one uncertain. So after every action done, the agent needs to know or to verify what effects can the actions cause. If the uncertain action is caused by another agent, the problem is called adversarial. To sum it all up, sensorless problem is to uncertain location of the agent, while contingency problem is to the uncertain actions of an agent or more.